hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel in today's video i have come for the nail biters okay for those of us I said us because look at my nails i i bite my nails obviously so for those of us that are constantly biting our nails i am here to drag you guys okay anyways i'm talking about whitlow in this video and it's home remedy so first of all what is whitlow whitlow is an infection of the finger okay but there are two different types of whitlow there is the hepatic type which is caused by the herpes simplex virus and it can be gotten via contact with the genitals or with the mouth or via contact with an open sore okay if you contact an open sore of someone that's infected and then you put it into your body via any of these routes orally or genitally you can get infected with the herpes simplex virus and you can have hepatic weight low okay then the second type of weight low is the melanotic weight low which is caused by tissue destruction from biting or chewing or sucking on your nails okay so this weight low is more rampant with fingernails it rarely affects the toes and the symptoms of weight low include redness tingling sensation throbbing of your fingers itching swelling pain and i mean your finger is just going to be hurting a lot let's just summarize it with that your finger is going to be hot it's going to be red it's going to be swollen and all what's not anyways in today's video i'm going to be concentrating more on the melanotic weight low which is caused by biting your fingers sucking on your fingers and maybe mistakenly cutting your fingers in a way that it destroys your tissues okay so when you cut your fingers or you bite your fingers too deep and then you get to pull out a hangnail it leaves a space where a virus or a bacteria or a fungi can get inside your nail and then infect your nail bed okay the scientific name can also be called paronychia because it is an infection of the nail bed okay so now down to the home remedies for whitlow i did a former video where i mentioned a few home remedies so if you want to get the remedies or the first few remedies i mentioned before you can check out that video so now for the home remedies before you even start talking about remedying a situation you first of all want to get rid of the pain okay because whitlow can be very very painful and uncomfortable so to get rid of pain from a throbbing swollen finger the first and most available pain relief is to use ice cubes or an ice pack or you put sachet water in the fridge and let it block and then you put it on that finger it helps relieve the pain a lot you can also use um methylated spirit okay if you have access to methylated spirit you can soak your hand in methylated spirit for a while it will also help you relieve the pain or you can buy magnesium salt okay it's not your regular table salt but you can buy it from a chemist or something and then mix it with warm water and then dip your hand in it's called epsom salt or magnesium sulfate okay so when you dip your hand in that epsom salt to help relieve the pain it also comes as an over-the-counter cream okay magnesium sulfate comes as as a cream that you can buy at a chemist and then you apply it on that throbbing finger and it will help you soothe and relieve the pain for a while okay before you can now go over to the home remedies so first of all i'll first of all be giving you the recommended home remedies that i have tried because like i said i bite my nails a lot okay i don't know if you guys can see my nails like they are so short and i always bite them <laughs> so first of all i'll give you the remedies that i have tried out before i'll now give you guys other ones that i've heard about that i am not so sure about i'm not so sure of them but then i'll shall just tell you guys so first of all the recommended home remedy is the first two i mentioned in my other video which is using lime or using hot water and hot air bar okay so when you buy lime you open it up put your hand inside it and then leave it for like 30 minutes you, you should do this morning and night or you can leave it for as long as you like but don't leave it for too long because lime is acidic you get so just leave it for like an hour to 30 minutes to an hour and then you can now remove your hand from it when you remove your hand from it you apply palm oil around that area trust me the pus will come and once you see the pus you now use the needle the syringe or the needle sterilized needle low not gonna use needle that i finish using to sew your pants use it and put on your hand don't be missing the work oh. you can also consider dipping the affected finger in a hot substance okay it could be hot tea or hot water but i prefer hot eba mm? hot gary just dip your finger in the hot gary and 
hold it in for as long as you can remove your finger allow your finger to cool down a bit then you dip it in again for as many times as you can okay this process will also help to facilitate or quicken the pus formation okay pus will form fast and then you can drain the pus with an incision or a piercing okay so for the other recommended home remedies because Whitlow is either caused by a bacteria or a fungi, the first recommended home remedy, apart from the lime and hot substance, is that you can put your hand in a disinfectant solution, okay? What I mean is you get a warm water, sorry, what I mean is you get warm water and put it in a bowl and then you add a sufficient amount of disinfectant into that warm water and then you can put your finger, your infectant finger, into that water for as long as you can hold it, okay? Then after that you can apply palm oil on it and then just let your finger sit or you can bandage it tie bandage on the finger so that it can just sit and then do that morning and night for a few days and then there will be some pus formation okay the recommended disinfectant is isal because that is the strongest disinfectant that exists right now so you can put a sufficient amount of isal in that water and then dip your finger it is antibacterial and antifungal so it can help kill whatever microorganism it is that is causing that that infection on that finger okay then you can also use antibacterial or antifungal soaps in the warm water to form a solution and then dip your finger okay all of these things work you can also use hydrogen peroxide that is i think it's the stuff used in cleaning swimming pools okay but before you use any substance make sure that you dilute it okay dilute disinfectant dilute the disinfectant dilute the hydrogen peroxide okay before you use it to soak your finger also another recommended home remedy is kerosene or petrol or hypo hypogeic bleach basically so you can put bleach in a bowl and then put your hand or you can put petrol or kerosene in a bowl and then put your hand inside it leave it for as long as it's, it feels safe to you just put your hand for a while for about 30 minutes or so then when you remove it you rub palm oil on your finger no matter how strong or how bad the wheat low is it is going to dry up if you put your hand in kerosene or petrol or jig or disinfectant solution you get so all of those things are recommended i do them whenever i have it low and it always always works for me you can also put your hand in apple cider vinegar okay i don't know if you know what apple cider vinegar is but i'll leave a picture for you guys on the screen you can put your hand in that apple cider vinegar it is antifungal and it is, and it is also antibacterial so it will help you um dry up the wheat low okay it's about to rain so i'm trying to be fast with this video so please pardon my speed you can also mix shea butter and salt together and then apply it on that your infected thumb and then bandage it okay tie bandage on it and let it sit for a while shea butter and salt works magic with your wheat low it helps to dry it out as well you can also blend garlic garlic i did not say ginger garlic blend garlic and then apply it on that infected finger and then apply bandage on it and then let it sit garlic is also anti microorganism so it will help kill whatever it is that is wrong with your finger or kill whatever it is that is infecting your finger and help you dry or dry out the wheat low okay so that's it for the recommended home remedies but about the ones i've heard the hearsay home remedies i've heard about i heard that you can grind ogiri okay i don't know if you know what that is but it's something that they used to cook soup here in the eastern part of nigeria so you can grind ogiri and apply it on that finger and then apply bandage on it it's, i heard that it helps to dry up the wheat low you can also um boil um plantain leaves and then grind it and apply on the finger and then apply bandage on it i heard that also work but i'm not really sure of it iron beans potash and red oil you blend them together and then apply on the finger and then cover it with a bandage okay it i heard it also helps to dry out with low but i'm not so sure of it but it's a hearsay home remedy also i heard that essential oils like coconut and tea tree oil can work magic with your wheat low okay just apply it on the infected finger and then apply a bandage always endeavor to tie a bandage after applying any home remedy so that it can work on that finger and you will not be uh, uh, and you will not be staining the whole house with that finger that is covered with a home remedy supply or something i don't know if you get but always try to apply bandage on the hand so that the home remedy can work on that particular finger very well for a long period of time okay so if you have tried all these home remedies 
plus the one I said in my former video, plus the one I'm saying here, and your finger is still throbbing, your finger is still aching, then you need to seek professional medical assistance, okay? But the but they will most likely recommend medical painkillers for you, like ibuprofen or diclofenac, and they might also recommend um, an antibiotic like lincomycin okay they might recommend lincomycin for you because it also helps very well with weight low if you try any of these remedies and it works for you please do come back to tell me in the comment section thank you for watching up until this point don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i'll see you next time in my next video until then take care of yourself i love you bye in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys the home remedies for weight low <laughs> No, nothing they do is warm up, is warm up. So that melanotic weight low is going to be the center or the focus of this video. <sighs> Let me check my book. <laughs>